The first time that we talked to you here this spring, we talked a lot about development, how important this was. Where are you at now compared to where you were a couple weeks ago? Um, I feel like I've um, stepped up as a leader a lot more. I um, got, got a lot more comfortable with this offense, um, decision-making uh, process. It's just all of the above. I feel like I've become a better player overall this spring. What's the next step for you here moving forward? Just keep down to the little things, um, whether it's speeding up my footwork or, or my decision-making processes, choosing where to go to the ball, or even moving off my first read. Just little things like that are going to go a long way with me. Jackson, there's been a lot made of the offensive line and obviously replacing five different guys. How have you seen that group maybe develop throughout the spring? Yeah, I've been proud of those guys. They've really stepped up the spring. You know, we've got a lot of guys um, injured, as you said, and a lot of younger guys have had to step up into to a starter role, and I feel like they've done a great job so far. They've been competing their butts off these past couple weeks. I'm super proud of them. They've also gone through changes because of injuries or whatever. The fact that they've been able to adapt or new guys have been able to step in, that has to make you feel pretty good about the future a little bit. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, like I said, those guys are resilient. Um, they're tough, and they've been competing their butts off these past couple weeks. So I've been, I've been super proud of them and, and that they've stepped up and actually stepped into that role. What do you remember from last year this time? Very stressful. Uh, that was, I mean, naturally. So, you know, coming in as a 17, 17-year-old 17 um, or 18-year-old, whatever, however, however old I was, um, learning the offense and kind of being thrown into a college environment was – was different for me and something I had to adjust to. So um, last year was a, uh, really stressful, but it was huge for my development. Is it not as stressful now? I mean, you're a year later, you are the guy, but you still have a new OC yeah. and things like that. So. Not near as stressful. Knowing the offense helps a lot um, in the spring. So more more so right now, I'm down into the little details about the offense and not just kind of learning the big picture and trying to figure out, you know, what, what plays are, what plays we're running. But I know how to run them. I know how they're ran and be able to execute is big for me. Are you able to use that experience to help a guy like Michael Hawkins who's in that situation now? For sure. I mean, just little tidbits that I can give him throughout the day on how these plays are run or even I got something something went wrong in practice today and just giving him advice of what to do wrong. Maybe if he has a bad snap, just following the running back or something little like that. Being able or being in this offense for a year and kind of learning and going through those same mistakes that he did um, kind of helps me teach him. What have you seen from him this spring? He's a baller, man. Mike, Mike's a really good player. Um, He's got a long way to go, though. Um, he's a stud, though. I mean, he, he's like how I was last spring, you know, just learning the offense, um, just playing ball, how he knows to play ball, and he's a freaking ball. He can spin the ball. What do you think of your room, uh, all the guys in the room, and how well, what's the camaraderie like between you guys and how you guys are getting along? Yeah, we're all close. Um, similar to the group last year, you know, uh, me, Dylan, Davis in general, we're all, all close last year, and it's getting that way this year. You know, it was a bunch of new guys in the room this year, so getting to know them has been big, but it's starting to get there. It seems like Jaden Gibson's a guy that we've heard a lot about having a good spring. What have you made of his development this offseason? Yeah, he stepped up big time. I mean, I wasn't here when, when Gabe came in as a freshman. I was a year behind him, but um, I heard stories about, you know, how he needed to grow up and, and this and that. And the Gabe I'm seeing this spring is balling. You know, he stepped into a leadership role. He's taking he's taking lead of that, that uh, receiver group, and he's really put on a show this spring. You know, the side of the ball, what's kind of stood out about the defense and those scrimmage matchups, things like that so far? Uh, they seem really experienced, and you can tell, you know, um, last year there was some bust defensively in the spring and, and some certain things they weren't running right. And this year, you know, all their twists are right and their stunts, things are running defensively, disguising coverages. It all looks it all looks fluid. Like it, They're not messing up this, this year, and it shows. Are you looking forward to the game? difficult in practice when you've got a defense that's hitting like that? For sure. Yeah, I mean, if they're firing all cylinders, it makes it tough on our O-line, makes it tough on, on my reads. Um, they're an experienced bunch, and then they're having a really good spring. Even you had to scrimmage against them a lot. Are you still looking forward to the game? For sure. It'll be a great atmosphere. Um, hopefully the weather um, will be good Saturday, but it'll be a great atmosphere, a lot of fans. So I'm super pumped up. You don't want to play in a mud game? Preferably not. <laughs> I know there's a lot of reasons why somebody picks a school, um, but OU's 21st century tradition of great quarterbacking. How much did that impact your decision to come to OU? Um, it definitely impacted my decision, just knowing the, the caliber of QBs that came before me and just knowing that I wanted to be a part of that um, that group uh, really stood out to me. Um, you know, being in a lineage of, of highs and winners is um, obviously something I want to join and, and following in those footsteps is, is the place where I wanted to be. How much? extra responsibility do you feel like that puts on you? I mean, do you feel the pressure of, of playing up to that standard? 
I mean, not really. You know, I feel like there's pressure everywhere you go playing quarterback, especially at a school like this, going to the SEC for the first time. There's going to be pressure for, for anything I do, and I don't think necessarily being in that lineage adds more pressure, but, I mean, it is awesome being behind highs and winners like that. Jackson, what's it been like working with uh, Dion Burks this spring? How has y'all's chemistry grown throughout these practices? It's been great so far. Dion's a great guy, um, even better person off the field. But I mean, on the field, that dude's a stud. I mean, he's as fast as can be, as twitchy as can be. That dude always gets open. I can trust him to go up and catch the ball whenever. Jackson, you mentioned it being much less stressful this time around. Did having Coach Latrell kind of in the room with the quarterbacks last year kind of help you at all now that we're here in this moment? For sure. Um, last spring and, and last summer and fall, even, um, I, I got close to Coach Latrell just talking to him and him teaching me certain things about just the offense we were running because he ran the similar things at UNT. But starting that relationship back then was big for me. and It, it kept us close and, and, and made me affirm that I wanted him to be my coach going forward. How different is it having him as a QB's coach when he's a guy that a lot of his career he spent with tight ends and running backs? Um, it's a little different. You know, him and Levy are obviously uh, different personalities, so it's, it's been uh, – it's different um, getting adjusted to him, but I mean, he's a great person, a great coach, and he's been, he's been coaching us really well. Jackson, how much of a difference maker do you feel like Bauer Sharp can be in this offense, with what you've gotten a chance to see from him this spring? Huge. You know, an underrated part of our offense is the tight end, that H-back spot, and um, being able to use him so far this spring, that dude can go up and catch anything. He's, he's fast, he's athletic, he's twitchy. I mean, he's super reliable, too, so I'm super excited about Bauer. He's been having a great spring. We saw Jalil, it looks like he's kind of banged up, got hurt. How big of a, of a loss is that? But also, how do you feel about the other guys being able to step up in his place? Um, it's a big loss. Um, obviously, one of our starters is obviously going to be a huge loss losing somebody like that. But I think it's good for our younger guys to kind of step up. And like I said with Gibb and um, Gibb and JJ stepping up into those into that role for Jalil. It's been big to get those guys because Jalil's got experience. Jalil knows what's going on. This is what his fourth spring ball. He knows how it's run. So getting those guys to step up and get more reps has been big for them. But it's obviously it hurts losing Jalil because he's he's our stud. What have you seen from from just the defense this spring? How they developed and what's it been like going against them this spring? Yeah, they've been tough to go against. You know, Coach V runs everything under the sun defensively, and uh, they're firing all cylinders too. Um, Everything they're doing, they're doing together. Um, whether it's disguising their coverages or running their blitzes, their their stunts, their twists, they've been doing really good. Do you notice any differences maybe from last year, or are they do you, are they even more comfortable this year? Maybe doing that kind of disguises, things like that. I can tell they're a lot more comfortable. Um, a lot less uh, coverage busts um, than last year for sure. From I mean, even this far into the spring, not near as many coverage busts. They're playing together. They're making they're making a ton of plays. Jackson, I know it's going back a ways, but we haven't. I had the chance to talk to you since right after the game and haven't had the opportunity to digest a little more. What do you feel like you've learned from your lone star last year in the Alamo Bowl? Um, just kind of, put. I mean, honestly, putting that game behind me is the biggest thing I took away from it. You know, one game doesn't define me, so I'm not going to dwell on that. But, again, I want to look back at that game and, and uh, look at the mistakes I made, whether it's hanging on my reads too long or not moving on to my reads or what throwing late over the middle, things like that. Little things like that is big for me to learn and take into the spring. But overall, just kind of pushing that game behind me because it doesn't define me. Jackson, you were one of the players that back in February, you know, announced that you were partnering with EA Sports for the game when it comes out. What are you looking forward to about that? And just how cool is that going to be to get to, you know, play as yourself and these other guys? Yeah, it's awesome. That was my that was my childhood growing up. I remember playing on my uh, my Xbox 360 with my cousins and my friends playing. Uh, I think it was NCAA 14. I forgot who was on the cover, some Michigan player. But um, that was my game growing up, and I knew one day that I want to be playing D1 ball and want to be in that game. So it's awesome. They're revamping it, and I'm excited to be partnered with them. What team did you play with growing up? Um, I was a Georgia fan growing up, so I'd, be, I'd play with Georgia a lot. Jackson, uh, we probably won't get to talk to you much, um, maybe, maybe some on Saturday after the game. But you know, Dylan did a lot in the summer with receivers. I think he had the, the dime time you know, mm -hmm. retreat and all that. Have you thought at all about what your plans are for the summer and, and doing anything like that and working out with some of these guys? Yeah, I definitely want to get retreats going with these guys. Um, I'm planning on, I haven't got with the guys yet, but I'm planning on after spring ball is done to get the whole office together and do a little cookout or something, hang out with each other. And in the summer, doing retreats like that with different position groups, that's it's something I plan to do. How important is that bonding over the summer, not only just building cohesion on the field, but also off the field? It's huge because you got to be friends with the guys that you're playing with and the guys you're essentially going to war with. You know, I don't want to go out there not trusting the receivers I'm throwing to, and, and it's vice versa for them. They don't want to go out there and catch balls from a dude they don't talk to or hang out with. That running back room, Caleb, offset guy you came in with, what kind of jump 
have you seen him make so far, and what can he be for you guys in, in year two for him? He's made a big jump so far. He's been really physical, really competitive this spring. He's running the ball hard. Um, you can tell on film. You can tell on the field. He's putting good stuff on film, and I'm super proud of him. What do you see from some of the other guys in that running back room? They're all playing hard. I, mean, I feel like they're all, they're all making making people miss, making good cuts, you know, finding the holes, finding creases, and I feel like they're all playing super fast and doing a really good job, especially in the passing game too, um, knowing their pass protection rules and and their routes and just getting up field quick. Are you looking forward to showing the fans what this offense can do? I am. Um, I hope we come out super explosive Saturday and just give the fans a show.